Me, 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 me. Uh, oh. Hey guys, didn't see you there. I was just rehearsing for my audition for that new talent show hosted at that rundown theater. I think they did a movie on it. Mm. Oh yeah, they did. Hey guys, welcome to another furry film review. I'm your host, Kame the Turtle, and I review movies that feature an animal-like character in the main cast. If you got a movie that fits that description, let me know in the description below. After a brief synopsis of the movie, I'm going to give you my review and tell you if I think the movie is brilliant or deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish. Since a uh, certain movie featuring anthropomorphic animals aired on Christmas Day recently, I thought many of you don't know the original. So let's break it down for you, shall we? The movie I'm featuring today is seen by Illumination 2016. It is a story of a koala bear who runs a rundown theater, which is on the verge of bankruptcy and repossession by the bank. So he gets it in his head to run a talent competition, more specifically a singing competition like American Idol. So he prints out a flyer for it with a reward of $1,000. But a mishap happens and it actually adds a couple zeros onto it, making it a hundred thousand dollars. Hundreds of animals come to show up in addition, but only a select few were chosen, including a punk rocker porcupine, a pack rat singing mouse, a soulful gorilla, and a housewife pig who really had some vocals on her. He also take on the help of a elephant with stage fright to be a stagehand. But with the theater being so run down and so broke, they have to look at ways to get some money coming in. So Buster goes and tries to get a famous local talent to sponsor them. But his idea on how to wow her was to set up an impromptu aquarium all over the stage and be the aquarium the stage itself. I got him to him. Spot on idea, flawed execution. Because the aquarium shattered and flooded out the theater, causing its destruction. So Buster does the only thing he can do, give up. But while doing his backup job, he hears something that got him to pay attention. Thinking about that funk. Remember that elephant with stage fright I mentioned earlier? He caught her singing and he wanted to hear her sing in front of an audience. So why not host a talent show for free, right? Most of the contestants returned just to prove their stuff and really wow the crowd, including the person that he tried to get sponsored in the theater. Who does end up sponsoring the new one? And the movie, happy ending all around. Well, except for the rat. Not sure what happened to him. Anywho, not important. Let's get into that review bit, shall we? I'm reviewing this movie on three points. Dory, aka how easy is it to remember and then out from other movies like it. Characters, this one is self-explanatory and art, the visual aspect of the movie itself. So if we look at the story, it's about this guy who really can't see what's in front of him. He's a dreamer and has a habit of bringing others down with him. But as the movie progresses on, the main character does in fact learn to open his eyes to everyone else and not just look at life through rose tinted glasses. All the characters have a point to grow, but I'll be talking about that more in the character section. Overall, if I think the story is brilliant or deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish, I'm going to have to give it a fish. Characters. I think the characters were amazing in this movie. Each of the major characters stood out in some way. We got the main character, Buster Moon, optimistic little guy, the elephant with stage fright, who learned to get over it, the soulful gorilla, who had to deal with his father issues, the housewife pig, was more or less living day to day with her husband, more or less in a fog once he got home from work. All the characters had growing points. So if I were to look at the characters individually, each character does stand out fairly well from others in similar movies. So for that, I'd have to give it a brilliant. Now for the art. Art-wise, it was a fairly visual movie. Textures were great, backgrounds weren't flat, colors and shading spot on. So overall, I would have to give the art aspect of it brilliant. If you were paying attention, that's two out of three brilliant. So if I think the movie is brilliant, what does that get slapped in the face by a fish? Well, overall, I would have to say the movie is brilliant. 
If you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. Hey Turtle Squad, quick interruption. I want to give a shout out to all the artists who let me use their pictures in my video. You can find links to their account in the description below. Be sure to check it out later. And I want to give one more shout out to a new subscriber, SodaPop8.1, who left the comment. Yo, you just got a new sub from Verdi Amino. I hope you enjoy the ride. All right, back to the video. Johnny, once again, if you got a movie that you would love to see me review, let me know in the comments below with hashtag film review. If you want to see my previous film review, you can see that link to the cards above and description below. Or if you want to watch more of my videos, well, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notification when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other furry friendos you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!